Are you looking for the best wireless gaming headsets? In this video we will look at some of the 5 best gaming headsets on the market. Before we get started with our video. We have included links in the description. So make sure you check those out to see which one is in your budget range. Starting at number 1. SteelSeries Arctis 7. The Arctis 7 is a solid, affordable wireless headset that offers great sound and a comfortable fit. SteelSeries Arctis 7 features an adjustable, ski goggles-like band that straps onto your head. It's comfy and secure without ever feeling too tight. It's a cool feature that we don't mind and would like to see other gaming headsets try too. The aluminum frame is sturdy and feels comfy when worn. The Arctis 7 offers sound superior to a lot of the headphones at its price range. It's great for gaming, but also great for music and movies. It offers a well-balanced mix, with none of the frequencies feeling overly boosted. This means a clear mix, with all the instrumentation coming through as intended. The surround on the headset is good. It offers good stereo separation when playing games, and the provided app, only on PCs, provides some great sound customization. The tight seal means good isolation, but nowhere near ANC quality. While the attached boom microphone is easy to adjust but falls short on sound quality. You'll find the microphone cuts off a lot of the low-end frequencies. This means if you have a deep voice, you'll most likely sound very different or even robotic over the microphone. The headset does not connect with Bluetooth, unlike a lot of headphones and headsets. Instead, you connect using a USB RF transmitter. However, it works on all the consoles, so no need to panic. Battery life is average, around 16 hours on a full charge at 70% volume. It charges up with micro USB, which is depressing, considering most headphones and phones have ditched the outdated technology already. If you would like to find out more, please check out our in-depth review of the SteelSeries Arctis 7. At Number 2. SteelSeries Arctis 1 Wireless Headset. The Arctis 1 Wireless is pretty much exactly the same as the Arctis 1, apart from, as you would expect, it is wireless. It, therefore, comes with most of the same pros and cons of the previous version. This is definitely a budget headset contender with a sleek design, good sound, and great battery life. The headset is capable of working on any console, even the Nintendo Switch, a big plus if you want to play Animal Crossing with a decent headset. The Arctis 1 is mostly plastic, and the headband is wrapped in vinyl. It doesn't feel as premium or durable as the aluminum frames most SteelSeries headsets do, but still feels solid. The earpads are standard SteelSeries fare with their airweave fabric pads. They feel comfy and don't heat up as quickly as the vinyl earpads. The biggest issue here is the actual size of the earpads, which are nice and big, but too shallow. And your ears tend to touch the inside of the headset unless you have really small ears. This can become uncomfortable and might even affect the sound quality. It's relatively easy to connect to the headset using either USB-C dongle or the USB-A adapter. The headset sounds great when you're gaming, no matter what console you use. However, the headset is only capable of stereo sound, so no surround here. And thankfully, it provides a solid, neutral sound, rather than opting for the stereotypical boosted low-end gaming sound. This provides a great foundation for any media, whether you want to watch YouTube, stream music, or play games with your friends, the Arctis 1 can handle it all. However, as with the Arctis 7, the microphone is not so good, but is usable and Discord certified. Battery life is super great, and you won't have to charge it every day with 25 hours of battery on a single charge. It does charge with micro USB, which is a bummer. At Number 3. HyperX Cloud Flight. The HyperX Cloud Flight provides great gaming headset performance on the PC and PS4. The first thing we noticed was the all-plastic frame with a thin, metal band running through the middle of the headband. However, it doesn't come off feeling cheap. It's noticeable that it's not premium, but it feels more than sturdy enough to cope with the gaming lifestyle. The memory foam cushions provide great comfort, and the headband clamps down enough to provide a good seal. The headset comes with hassle-free surround sound, meaning you won't have to fiddle around on an app to get it working. Just plug and play. The headset sounds great when gaming, although it's hard to really tell the difference between stereo and surround sound. 
games sound alive and loud. Distinguishing where sounds are coming from is easy, and the headphones provide a good soundstage. The typical gaming sound is present here with the bass boosted to add some extra boom to the explosions and gunfire. It's great for games, but unfortunately means that music and movies won't sound that great. The headset works great for streamers, too, and the app provides easy settings to get you going as well. The microphone doesn't sound very good and provides a very inaccurate representation of your voice. It especially sounds awful if you have a deeper voice, since a lot of de-emphasis happens in the low-end frequencies. The battery life is a standout, though, with just over 30 hours of playtime with a single charge. At Number 4. Logitech G533. The Logitech G533 is the perfect headphone for gamers who don't care about the fancy RGB lighting and gamer designs. Here you'll find a classy-looking headset, with a modern design that includes a matte black finish with accented glossy black earcups. The G533 is lightweight compared to many gaming headsets. The earpads are padded with Logitech's hybrid mesh fabric. It's comfy and doesn't heat up as quickly as the vinyl found on most headsets. The earpads are also machine washable, because if there is one thing that really rallies us up, it's a dirty headset. The headset has a neutral, balanced sound. This means that nothing sounds louder than it's supposed, and the mix is true to the original. The highs shine bright, the mid-range frequencies are clear, and the bass is distinct and punchy. The biggest draw is also the biggest flaw here. The surround on offer isn't stellar and lacks detail and proper sound staging. There is never really a clear distinction between stereo and surround sound. Unlike so many gaming headsets, the microphone is decent. It provides clear and understandable audio with minimal peaking and distortion. This headset connects with Bluetooth. However, this might not be the best choice for pro gamers due to the lag that comes with Bluetooth connectivity. The battery provides 16 hours of playback on a single charge, which is a little on the low side. At Number 5. Corsair HS70 Pro. The Corsair HS70 Pro blends into the modern headphone design with a matte black finish and vinyl padded headband and earbuds. The frame is made from metal, which makes it more rugged and durable than most plastic frames. The earbuds are large, and the headset was very comfortable to wear over the course of a few hours. The 50mm drivers sound great on the HS70 Pro. The sound here is very balanced and very close to the original mix, however, there is a slight boost in the low end. This helps games to sound a little bit more exciting, with louder booms and gunfire. The surround on this headset is absolutely superb. Corsair really creates a great soundstage that provides the player with a very immersive audio experience. It's miles ahead of a lot of the competition at this price range. But, unfortunately, the surround is only available on the PC. The headset does work on the PS4 and Xbox One, but the surround capability requires the app that is only on PC. The microphone is decent and doesn't alter your voice too much. It's detachable, so if you are gaming solo and want to remove it from your line of sight, it's simple. The headset provides 16 hours of non-stop gaming before needing to be recharged. It's a little low, but not a complete train wreck.